Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to show you guys how to replace your uh, DVD-ROM drive and as you can see right now I have two computers and I just want to explain the situation first basically this DVD-ROM on, on the big computer, on the black one is not working so I want to move the DVD-ROM drive from this computer right here to this computer so what does that process involve well basically I'm gonna open up this computer take out the DVD ROM drive and then I'm going to open up this computer take out the DVD ROM drive put the DVD ROM drive from this from there to here and then I'm going to uh, close it up Okay. So let's start working. So firstly with this computer I'm going to open up the back. So I'm going to unscrew everything. Now, as you can see, the DVD-ROM drive is located right here, which means I'm going to have to unscrew uh, these screws down here, right? because that's the DVD-ROM drive that I'm going to take out. So I'm going to unscrew that right now. So I just want to explain briefly uh, the cables that you're unplugging. So right now this is the DVD-ROM drive and the first cable that I'm unplugging right here that's called the SATA cable and that connects to your motherboard and basically that's how data is transferred from your DVD-ROM to uh, your hard drive or wherever it is that you want the data to go to. So let's take out the data cable and as you can see the data cable is connected to your motherboard so I'm gonna take that cable out completely so all you gotta do to take it out is just pull it out it's pretty simple just pull it out so now the data cable has come off and the second thing I'm gonna take out which is also connected to the DVD-ROM drive is the power cable now this the SATA power cable is connected to your power supply so you can take that out as well so take it out now unfortunately you can't unplug this you can't take it out of the computer because uh, it's connected to your uh, to your power supply so just leave it there and then I'm going to take out my DVD-ROM drive. Now once the power cable is unplugged, you just have to push the, uh, push the DVD-ROM drive outwards. So don't try to take it out this way because it might collide with all your wires. Just push it out this way out of your computer and it should slide out. So now what we can do is put the case back together because we no longer need to open up this computer so let's put the case back so let's work on the big computer and the first thing we're going to do is unscrew the case And you can see that this the cabling is a lot tidier, meaning that it was probably put together by a more professional person. Now our DVD ROM was situated at the top right here, so this is the this is the part we want to take out. Unscrew this and this. 
and then because there's no support at the bottom, you're gonna have to uh, tilt it sideways to unscrew it, and then you gotta unscrew this as well, and then you can, you should be able to push it out, push it out this way again. So let's start unscrewing. Now the last thing to do is unplug the cables and then push it out the other end. So this is this, the blue one is the SATA cable. Unplug it and the other one is the uh, power cable. Unplug it. And then you should be able to push it out. Push it out of the computer. So this is the the one that's broken, an LG Blu-ray disc. And now I'm going to put this one in. You're going to slide it in across until you see the holes match where the screws go. And then you're going to screw it back in again. Now don't forget to plug the uh, data cables back in so that the SATA cable goes up here and the, the power cable goes in there. Now screw in the other side. So now we have this DVD-ROM in the big computer and now you can just close up the case and that's it.